Hello everyone. Now in today's lecture we have to start article vehicle on bank cow road. Now first thing what is bank cow road? Last time we learned article vehicle on horizontal cow road. Now it's a bank cow road. Now what is bank cow road that we have to see? So banking of road means what? So you can see a diagram. In that diagram, banking of road is mentioned. The arrangement of road, which you can see in a diagram, is the banking of road. Now let me discuss. When we consider this is a vehicle, so this is the horizontal and this is the surface of road. Surface of road and the horizontal. So angle is there in between these two. Okay. And this angle is called as angle of bank. Arrangement is called as banking of road. And the angle is called as angle of bank. Now from picture you come to know that what is exactly mean by banking of road. Basically, banking of road is the arrangement of road in which you can see this outer portion of the road is inclined over the inner portion with some angle is called as banking of road. You can see in a definition also, it's the arrangement of road in which surface of road are tilted with the horizontal with some angle and this is called as banking of road. Then after that, why banking of road is necessary in this article we have to cover? Basically, we already learned horizontal curve road and here we are learning the banking curve, bank curve road. On horizontal curve road, Centripetal force required for motion of vehicle on along the curve path is provided by force of friction. But you know that force of friction is not reliable because force of friction changes with the season, it changes with the condition of road, as well as it changes when some material is on the road, such as oil. Means it is not reliable. Friction is not reliable. And in some cases, if you want to increase the safety speed limit on the curve road, you have to increase the friction. And if we increase the friction, then it causes wear and tear of the tire. To avoid that, banking of road is necessary. So I hope you understood the basic reason behind that. Okay, I repeat everything again. So say on horizontal curve road, we already learned centripetal force provided by frictional force. But frictional force is not constant, not reliable. Okay. As it is changes, frictional force changes with condition of road as well as season. Again, and if you want to increase the safety speed on road, we have to increase friction. Then it causes wear and tear of tire of vehicle. To avoid this, banking of road is necessary. I hope you understood the necessity of banking of road. On highways, you can see on the curve portion the outer portion is little higher level than the inner that is the bank curve. now after that next article is maximum speed of vehicle on bank curve road without considering friction so this word is very important without considering friction now in this article we are not considering friction. Now we consider one vehicle. We consider one vehicle 
whose mass is m moving on band curve road of radius r ठीक है as shown in figure now you can see here this is the vehicle these two are the tires this is the center of gravity of the vehicle ठीक है and through the center of gravity we shown some force component now let me discuss the forces acting on vehicle ठीक है we discuss forces acting on vehicle the first force is always weight which is given by mg second force is the normal reaction so you can see in a diagram first force is weight second force is normal reaction normal reaction is exerted by surface okay and it is perpendicular to the surface or you can say that surface of the vehicle okay you can see this normal reaction in the diagram now here we are not considering friction here this article is without considering friction okay so we are not considering frictional force now here you can see the diagram and by that diagram you can see here this normal reaction this n it is resolved into two components it is resolved into two components first component you can see in a diagram it is n cos theta and second component is n sin theta okay there are the two components of the normal reaction now you can see in a diagram this component n cos theta which is the upward component this upward component n cos theta is balanced by mg vehicle is in equilibrium so we can write here n cos theta which is the upward component and weight is the downward component both are balance each other theek okay, hai n cos theta balances weight and so we get the equation here n cos theta is equal to mg theek okay, hai we get equation n cos theta is equal to mg we are given equation number 1 now after that you know that for motion of vehicle along this curve path centripetal force is required and centripetal force is provided by this component n sin theta which is towards the center of that circular track a circular path hence we write the equation centripetal force is equal to n sin theta we get equation here n sin theta is equal to mv square by r so this is the equation number 1 this is the equation number 2 now everything is mathematics after these two equations next step we are taking division of these two equation and we are solving this equation for maximum speed so by dividing equation 2 by equation 1 we get see here This equation number two divided by equation number one we are written. Now we can cancel the common terms. So here this n n get cancelled. So here this m m get cancelled. So we can write the next step. This sine divided by cos is tan, and this right hand side is b square divided by r g. G is shifted up. So we get tan theta is equal to v square by r g. Then after that, by using this formula, we can write formula of most safe speed of vehicle. So we know that tan theta is v square by r g. So we have to write formula of most safe speed means we have to write formula of v. So initially we transfer this r g to this side. left hand side so we get v square is equal to r g tan theta we get v square is equal to r g tan theta 
Now this formula we are writing for V. Okay, safe speed. So we get under root RG tan. So maximum, sorry, most safe speed is given by formula under root RG tan theta. As well as by this formula of tan theta, we can obtain the formula of banking angle, or we can say that angle of banking which is represented by theta. So tan theta is v square by rg. We can transfer this theta uh, tan to this right hand side. So we get theta is equal to tan inverse of v square by rg. So this is the expression for banking angle or angle of banking. I hope you understood this. Now you can check this equation. Most safe speed equation. If you see this equation very carefully, so safety speed on this bank curve road depends on. It depends on R. Okay, it depends on R. R means radius of that path. It depends on G. G means acceleration due to gravity on that place. As well as it depends on theta. Theta means angle of banking. So maximum speed limit depends on R, G and theta. So from this formula, you can conclude that this maximum speed limit is Vs is independent on mass of vehicle is independent on mass of vehicle it means that this most step speed is formula is applicable to all vehicle it is applicable to car truck as well as any other vehicle also Then after that, next one, next article is speed limit on bank road. So in that speed limit, we are obtaining maximum speed limit as well as minimum speed. Now why we are discussing here maximum and minimum? You can see a diagram. So in this diagram, if you see this diagram very carefully, so this angle is angle of bank now pay attention this road is banked with a greater angle then if vehicle is not maintain a particular speed limit then vehicle may skid down it may skid down towards this direction if vehicle is not maintain particular speed limit okay and maybe a possibility if a vehicle Cross a particular speed limit, so it may move in this direction. So here we are discussing in this article maximum speed limit on this road as well as minimum speed limit formula on this bank road. Okay. Now in this case we are considering friction because you remember here on this type of road. Friction contribute to decide the speed of vehicle. So you can see this sentence. So friction is very important. So in addition to two forces, means weight and normal reaction. So here we are considering friction also. So remember, in previous article, we are not considered friction, but now. When we are obtaining maximum and minimum, we have to consider friction. So pay attention. The first we obtain here lower speed limit is minimum speed limit. How much minimum speed we have to maintain to negotiate the curve? This we have to learn. Now again we consider here a vehicle of mass m moving on bank or road of R. Now let I show diagram here. So this is the diagram. It's the component diagram basically. 
Now, this is the vehicle. Through that center of gravity, forces are acting. You can see the force I told you. First force is weight, second force is normal reaction, and third force is frictional force, friction between tire and. So here, we are obtaining lower speed limit. Lower speed limit means, so you know that I told you, if speed limit is less, I told you, the vehicle starts skidding down in this direction. And if vehicle is not skidding down, it means that some force is acting and that force is the force of friction which is in the opposite direction and which prevent skidding the vehicle. Okay, so this is the direction of the force of friction that you remember. Now you can see here the forces at the component diagram also. This is the component diagram. Same diagram I repeated here with the component only. No vehicle, only components. Okay, and all the component I consider from this point means from the center of gravity. You can see here. The first component here weight. Okay, you can see here weight. Then second component normal reaction. You can see normal reaction here. Then frictional force. Okay. Now you can see in a diagram here. This this n is resolved into two components. The first component is cos, and second component is n sine theta and cos theta and n sin theta. Similar manner, this frictional force resolves into two components. First component is Fs sin theta and second component is Fs cos theta. Fs the force of friction between tire of vehicle and road. Now you can see forces acting on vehicle weight, normal reaction, and force of static friction between tire of vehicle and road. So everything is shown in a diagram. Now pay attention, by diagram we have to write two equations. And these two equations we have to process and we have to obtain lower speed limit formula. Again component diagram is displayed here. So from component diagram, so this weight mg is balanced by the component n cos theta and f sin theta. So these two components balances mg. So we can write equation here. mg is equal to, you can see here this equation, mg is equal to n cos theta plus f s sin theta equation number one now again as we already discussed in the previous article for negotiating this curve path the so centripetal force is required and the centripetal force is acting toward the center and Resultant of these two components, you can see here the n sine theta and f cos theta. Resultant of these two is acting towards the center. So, resultant of these two provides the centripetal force. Again, so you can see here it is written. Centripetal force provided by resultant of these two components. So we can write the equation centripetal force is equal to. So centripetal force is equal to n sin theta minus f s cos theta. The resultant of this we are written n sin theta minus f s cos theta because these two forces having opposite direction and resultant is in this direction. So n sin theta is larger. So n sine theta minus f cos theta we are written. So we get here equation number two. Now here both the equations we have to process to obtain expression of speed limit. 
So again, by dividing equation two by one, which we done in the previous article also. Now everything is mathematics now. So we divide equation two by equation one. Then we cancel the common quantity from this left hand side. Now in the next equation, we get here left hand side v square by r, and this right side as it is, no change in the right side. Now this v square by r g is equal to. You can see here, we can, we are taken here n common. After taking n common, so here inside the bracket we get. N sine theta minus F S divided by N cos theta. Pay attention. So if you see this equation, in this term N is not there, so we multiplied by N divided by N. So here also multiplied by N divided by N. Multiplied by N we are taken common, and this divided by N is coming below this force of friction. So again this N N get cancelled. We get the next step, and in that we have to substitute this force of static friction divided by normal reaction is the coefficient of friction between tire and rope, and which is represented by symbol mu s. So let me substitute mu s, and we get the next equation: v square by r g is equal to sine theta minus mu s. Cos theta divided by cos theta plus mu s sine theta. Now in that we divide the right hand side of the equation, numerator and denominator both by cos. Okay, so this divided by cos theta as well as this part divided by cos. Then we get the next equation: sine by cos minus mu s cos by cos. Cos by cos get cancelled, means it is one. Now here, cos upon cos again one plus mu s sine by cos. You know that sine by cos is tan. Then the next equation we substitute here: sine by cos is tan. So we get v square by r g is equal to tan theta minus mu s divided by one plus mu s. Now we can transfer this R G to this right hand side. So we get V square formula. V square is equal to R G in a bracket tan theta minus mu s divided by one plus mu s tan theta. So same formula for V. So we get V is equal to under root. So V is equal to under root R G in a bracket tan theta minus mu s divided by one plus mu s tan theta, and this is a lower speed limit. This is lower speed limit. So I can write here V minimum is equal to under root the same formula. Under root R G in a bracket tan theta minus mu s divided by one plus mu s tan theta. This is a minimum speed vehicle has to maintain to negotiate this curve. I hope you understood this derivation because as we get equation one and equation two, everything is a mathematical part. Everything is mathematics after equation one and two. Now, similar manner, we have to obtain a maximum speed limit also. Same procedure. Same procedure we have to follow. Now, the next article is upper speed limit. Next article is upper speed limit. Now we consider a vehicle of mass m moving on bank of road of radius r as shown below. 
now diagram so listen in the previous diagram and this diagram only one difference is there so in the previous diagram this force of friction is in opposite direction so here this force of friction is downward okay so vehicle is moving with the upper speed limit so to avoid the vehicle to thrown off so this force of friction is downward direction okay now again same thing component diagram you can see here component diagram in that let i show you the forces forces acting on vehicle weight mg okay then second force normal reaction and the third force is force of static friction between tire of vehicle and road now pay attention we have to resolve this normal reaction into two component n cos theta and sin theta similar manner this force of friction we resolve into two component fs cos theta and fs this is fs cos theta and this must be sin theta sorry here it is not mentioned let i change this so fs sin theta so this is the sine component how this is fs sin theta you remember always one thing you remember if this angle is theta then adjacent component of the theta is always in cos and opposite component is in sin so if we see this theta then this is the adjacent component of the force of friction so it is in cos okay now with this component diagram we have to write two equation and these two equation we have to proceed so let me move on the next page okay again you remember here in the diagram it is fs sin theta okay you can see here the weight mg this weight mg is balanced by resultant of the component f sin theta and n cos theta okay you can see here this weight mg which is balanced by resultant of this n cos theta and this f sin theta but these two they are in opposite direction they are in opposite direction okay if you see this equation very carefully so this Uh, resultant of this n cos theta and this f sin theta is given by formula n cos theta in this component minus this f s sin theta and it is balanced balances weight mg so we get the equation so mg is equal to this i told you here this mg is balanced by resultant of this so we get equation number 1 and centripetal force always here on the curve path centripetal force is required centripetal force is provided by these two components you can see in a diagram also so these two forces which are acting in the same direction so addition of these two component gives the centripetal force so we can write here centripetal force mv square by r is equal to n sin theta plus f s cos theta now this is the equation number two. now here equation 1 equation 2 okay and both the equation we have to process in a similar way which we done in the last article and we have to obtain a speed limit now let me divide equation 2 by 1 dividing equation 2 by 1 we get 
we have written this equation again here m m get cancelled so we get v square by rg left hand side and right hand side as it is no change in right hand side now similar to the previous one hence this equation we are writing by taking n common so you know that if we take n common here okay n n get cancelled and equation in a bracket we get sin theta plus f s by n cos theta divide by cos theta minus f s by n sin theta i know uh, definitely we already learned the similar article so you understood this step now next one f s by n is equal to mu s which is the coefficient of friction coefficient of static friction let me substitute mu s then the equation become so only here we substitute mu s so instead of these terms we substitute here mu s take now dividing right hand side by numerator and denominator both by cos theta so we get here sin by cos plus mu s cos by cos so here cos cos get cancel okay yeah. and here cos cos get cancel means it is one so we get the next step and sin by cos is tan so next step is v square by rg is equal to tan theta plus mu s divide by 1 minus mu s tan theta. now we can transfer this rg to right hand side so we get this formula of v square now we have to obtain formula of v by using that so v is equal to under rg okay in a bracket tan theta plus mu s divided by 1 minus mu s tan theta and this is this is maximum speed this is maximum speed so i written v max for this so v max is equal to under root rg in a bracket tan theta plus mu s divided by 1 minus mu s tan theta now in this formula pay attention here very important substitution you can remember if this mu s is cos theta if i substitute mu s is cos theta okay then you can say here so if i substitute this mu s is cos theta cot theta sorry it's the cot theta mu s is cot theta then cot theta multiplied by tan theta it is 1 okay you know that cot theta multiplied by tan theta is 1 cot is what 1 by tan into tan get cancel you get one so it is one one minus one g anything divided by zero is infinity anything divided by zero is infinity so if we substitute here coefficient of static friction is cot theta then we get a maximum speed limit as a infinity maximum speed limit is infinity but here you remember one more thing here coefficient of static friction maximum value it is 1 you know that the coefficient of static friction lies between 0 to 1 and the maximum value of the coefficient of static friction is 1 this is the maximum value and pay attention if the angle if the angle of banking is greater than 45 or let i consider 45 equal to or greater than if angle of banking is 45 then also we get maximum speed limit as infinity we can check this formula again okay if we substitute this mu s is 1 here we substitute mu s is 1 Okay, and this tan theta means tan 45 is one, one into one, one. So 
1 minus 1 0. So again you get here G, uh, 1 and 1 minus 1 0. And we get a speed limit as an infinite. So it means that if the angle is greater than 45 or equal to 45, then upper speed limit is not possible. So this is the confusion. So you have to note here if angle of banking is equal to and greater than 45, upper speed limit is infinity. Upper speed limit is infinity. So upper speed limit doesn't matter only the lower speed limit we have to consider on such a road if we are banking it with angle greater than or equal to 45 okay, i hope you understood this article banking of road in the banking of road we obtain we obtain the first thing is if a road is banked without considering friction we obtain speed limit then with considering friction we obtain maximum speed limit and minimum speed limit i hope you understood in today's lecture we have to learn that much only now today we stop here